welcome back to Court Farm. We're in field seven, the forgotten field. Um, just getting the baling done in here. There we go. So headlands are done, just cruising up and down now. Dropping some lovely looking straw bales, which can go to the BGA once we are done. Now, <laughs> I have a confession to make. Let me just stop. So, money has gone up a bit, hundred and something grand. Um, we've got cultivating contracts underway, as always. We've got a sewing contract that we're going to do in a bit. Um, but if we just go down to oh, there's no harvesting contracts left. We did a lot. I've also, so as not to bore you, made 130,000 litres of grain grist, which is why the wheat has tanked and everything else is looking pretty low. All the oats have gone. Um, Arlie, we've got a bit left, which is fine. That's good. Um, wheat, 2,000 litres left. Um, but yeah, we are. any contract was there, the harvesting got done. Now, we've got quite a good amount of rye, actually, which is nice. The, uh, the, the root crop ones, uh, we used the Mark Thor uh, harvester. Got the different headers that we needed. I say we, <laughs> me. Um, and just blitz them. It was I hadn't used um the the root crop harvester that Mark Thor did um until we did those I did those contracts and it is awesome. Having gone from the struggle um which I guess you could call it um there we go, let's get that on there um of doing carrots on the oats and a decent sized field on there um it was just awesome to use one with a hopper um a big hopper I, i'll i'll say that now i'll confess um and but it was just great fun at who um lease um we leased a truck and a oh, what's the name of the big cramp big red trailer um but it was great fun it was really really good fun just to sit there and the way it worked out i think um yeah it was last last friday didn't record with disturbed so i'd got the afternoon and and the and a bit of the evening and it was like i'm gonna smash these out <laughs> and we did um i did uh so yes yeah, so that's why the money is where it is um only kept the arable crops that were left over there were there weren't many big contracts on there so it was minimal like i say got the grain was done um so yeah, we're in a pretty good place. Um, animals are fed. Um, now, I know we are rapidly approaching 6 o'clock, but I'm hoping we should be able to get the bailing done in both field 7 and 13. I forget what field we've got. Um, there we go, and then do the sewing contract, which is for canola, um, and yeah, that's the plan really. We, I'm not too fussed because of the way the money is. I'm not too fussed about keeping the harvester um, for another game day and and taking the hit on the money that way. Um, just because we are 
in a reasonable position for cash. So that's that field done. We will lift that up and fold it. I think we can get through here, round the edge of here and up to our other field. So I will do a bit more. We'll move the cultivator and the fiat onto the next one. Try and get those finished and then um, start some sewing. So last few passes on the bail-in. We've... Uh, that, I keep saying we. I want to be inclusive, I suppose. Um, grabbed the JCB that you will see now and collected up the bales from both fields. I don't think we're going to make another one. No, and there isn't enough to grab full one so that's fine we can he says send that back to the main yard uh, we'll go for refuel I can't remember if I've updated the uh, auto drive at the yard but we'll see it'll get close enough and we can just pop out oh that's a bit triggering i apologize and then we can get in here and head to the biogas plant we'll drop all these off and then thinking we're going to need to skip to the next day which is not a problem we've got plenty of the animals are all literally just about max 99% max food so skipping is not a problem let's attempt to get out of this gateway in fact are we in let's put that in transporting mode just in case see if we can squeeze out of here hoping we can slight <laughs> slight contact with the hedge right get these up to the biogas plant and i'll see you there so up at the biogas biogas gas very <laughs> far too posh and drop in the bales well, there we go super super brilliant right into productions and straw is already activated so that's great running away nicely how much have we got two and a half thousand liters solid fur good that will sort itself out in a minute duck meat is getting through it so that's good as well how much have we got four thousand two hundred and four liters lovely jubbly right we will get this back to the yard the john deere has got there already so that's good um i'll see you in the morning and we've got the drill attached so after a good sleep we've got the drill emptied of fur and topped up with seed first job though is to collect on the three cultivating contracts that we took let's have a look nothing else is available yet which is good actually because <laughs> we're going to be entering a reasonably busy period for ourselves so let's just so we do need to we've mulched, i have mulched that haven't i Yes, we mulched it. It doesn't need ploughing. That's fine. So, what I think we're going to do is we are heading to field 61 here. And then, so the canola is going to go in there. And then, once that's done, we will 
potentially have time to harvest our red beet, I think. But uh, yeah, plan is head up to 61, get the canola in the ground, and then we'll collect on that and uh, see how we're doing for time. So already on to the third headland and it's not the biggest of fields kind of reflected in the price of the contract but uh hey every little helps um <laughs> and i hope you can forgive me for smashing out all the contracts um it was a time thing and a very quite a relaxing few hours well <laughs> lots of hours but just one of those things they were there we got the kit oh come on <laughs> and as i said earlier doing the root crops with that harvester is awesome so much more fun than uh struggling with the uh the kit from the dlc so yeah right now what's that keep pinging at me for <laughs> why you, i know you need to drive to the repair station now you're only supposed to go to the refuel point That one was not me. Right, that can stay there for a minute. Where were we? Here. What were we saying? Um, what were we saying? Yeah, having fun doing root crops. I never thought I'd hear myself say that. But yeah, it is. It's an awesome bit of kit. Um, and it's just, yeah, quite refreshing to be, to actually enjoy doing something like that. So, where is our line? Here, I think. Back up so we make sure we don't miss any. That's good. On with that. Lower down. And we'll push on. So, we got not very long left. <laughs> um, I was contemplating putting it on course play, but I thought for the time it's going to take, let's just do it. Get it done. And uh, jobs are good done. Last tiny bit of the field. And we are done. Don't even know if it said we've completed it already. But for the sake of what will probably about be about one seed. Or one litre. Not even that look. <laughs> There we go. Let's just get to the contract and collect. Jobs are good done. Right, we're not interested in anything else up there for now. I don't even know why I've come back to that screen. So we can now clear that. We'll set this to clear off back to the farm once we're out the gate because we did have a little a little hiccup getting in can we get out look at that so this can go back go, go back this can go back to the farm and we can crack on and start the beet harvest don't ask <laughs> just just don't ask okay methods were used <laughs> um oh dear these gateways are so much fun let's see if we can try and make a bit of a route around there we go i think it's going to be snug i think is the word but already a thousand litres oh and a repair bill 
tell you what we'll do. We'll go like this, I think. Now, we're clearly not going to do the 49 miles an hour that is available to us. <laughs> um, but, yeah. It, it's nice to be experimenting, I guess. Now, we are going to have to store these somewhere um, we haven't over really got a fat lot of space to uh, put another bunk down um, so yeah I probably should have thought about this shouldn't I all planning and all that lot um, I mean, depending on money, we could always... I don't want to be going 12 mile an hour. There we go. I'm just trying to think of a, of a cunning plan. Where could we... I mean, I don't know if they'll go in the silo. Failing that, we'll just have to heap them somewhere, I think. Um, that will have to be the plan. But, yeah, all good. All good indeed. Now, I don't know if you watch Fairhead. If anybody does, then hopefully... Fingers crossed, there should be something a little bit different coming this week. I'm trying to think, yeah, yeah, will be this week. Of course it is. Um, had an offer that I couldn't refuse. A bit of Godfather there. Um, no, I did. I had, I had a an offer, and I thought, okay. Why not give it a try? So, you know, comfort zones and stepping out of. So, yeah, I won't say what it is because it'll give the game away. And it might not happen yet. It's, uh, but hopefully it is something that might become a regular thing. We'll see how it works. So, this has got a rather big capacity. I suppose that's the other thing. I mean, we could just... Seems frivolous. We could just keep the harvester with the beats in until such time as we come up with a storage solution not overly ideal and take up a fair bit of space but yeah I'll have to have a think we'll have a think and come up with something that will no doubt be 100% realistic <laughs> right so the John Deere can't get past the fear which is fine once we get to the top, I'll go and sort that out. But, yeah, 35,000 litres so far. Not too shabby. I don't know what I expected, really. But, yeah, all good. Right, we will crack on. Um, like I say, once we get to the top, we'll uh, I'll go and fix the sort the John Deere out. Um, and I'll see you in a minute. So, I've grabbed... The JCB and the Richard Weston trailer. Now, what I'm going to do mm. is just put a little bit in the trailer um, and attempt um, to uh, put a bit in the silo. Now, like I say, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but 
we'll have a quick go. Let's just grab this one plant there. Now, if we can turn off that for a moment and just get about. It's quite a quick unload, so. <laughs> there we go right we'll just end off on that for a second we will jump out how much got in there seven thousand thank you mate that was more than i wanted right let's get this spun around i do think i quite like the graphic for the uh the beats i think that's the best one the uh the parsnips look a little bit i know odd right what do we reckon place your bets now <laughs> i suppose we could always put something here and move the starter mill maybe maybe we'll see right what do we reckon i don't think it's going to take root crops No, no trigger. Go oh, right. Well, we'll get the field harvested. And then at least it's done. And I can brainstorm <laughs> where to stick the beat um, off camera. I seem to recall in... Was it 17 or 19? There was a Holmer DLC. Am I remembering that wrong? I can't remember which one it was, but I'm sure there was a DLC for the Homer stuff. Um, but I just, I, I love the look of the mod. I love the Thor hammer on the back. I like the fact that if you look, you've got the icon. So if you've got multiple headers, you know um, which one's which. Um, and it's just an absolute beast <laughs> I mean look at the tyres they are epic um, just yeah I love it you can't uh, you can't beat it <laughs> I mean what are we up to now 72,000 we got 7,000 in the trailer it, it's a good haul I can't really you know ask for more we just need now and it's like any mod update isn't it you have to be patient with these things mates plus to to get the update when the team get around to it you know but yeah we can use the beat then as the as one of the feed possibly then stick the sugar beet or some of the sugar beet through the uh what should we call it what have we got bga that's the one just try not to flatten the hedge too much drop on VCA and there we go oh got myself then <laughs> oh, it's not that's not too shabby we've done our we've done our own premium crop well I've harvested every other type for the other farmers but um yeah i like it i do i have installed as well where is it the scania torpedo i love the look of that truck now whether <laughs> i don't know if it's one for this save i think it's probably i don't know maybe a bit of wishful thinking that it'd fit <laughs> um but yeah, I think maybe it might be a Saxthorpe jobby, that one. If we get the cash. But yeah, this is not taking long. Better than <laughs> using the... Uh, what are they, what, one and two row what jobs? Mm -mm. No thank you. I think I did always say that this would be on the cards. 
as soon as it released. So, yeah, jobs are good and very nearly there. Going to be just under 100,000 litres. So we've got... Turn that off. So 91,000 there. And then... 91, 98. Yeah, 98, 99,000 litres. Is it? Does it... I bet it won't appear in the... No. Follow my own logic from previous recordings. If it's in a machine, it doesn't show. You silly boy. Right, so... Well, on that... Oh, what's the great demand? Please be red beet. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking in there. Pine Creek. Oh, we could be here for some time. Let me have a quick flick through and see if it's anything that we can uh, sell. And uh, I'll be back with you. Well, sod's law. <laughs> Pine Creek stores. The great demand. Carrot soup. How unfortunate. <laughs> How much do beets sell for anyway? Max price in June of 286. Yeah. Right. Did I turn the engine off on the holder? No, I did not. So I think that's probably going to be it for today. Um, again, we've sort of bobbed around a little bit, but jobs are good. And we've. Uh, come on, leg it, Kartek, leg it. We've got our harvest done for the beetroots and we can just crack on now and move through to a point where well you know we can thank you we can get the corn harvest that's the next big job we got two fields of corn to do two fields of field beans and i think that's about it really for our harvest then oh and relax cool so i've enjoyed that one i love this piece of kit um if you haven't used it already just go and use it use it like you get the normal one don't need to go too cheaty give it a go rate it five stars because it's fantastic it makes the job so much more enjoyable it really really does so thank you all for watching hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.